Well, today we're at the, uh, the Petrified Forest here at uh, Palmas del Mar. The Taro Carpus Forest. All right, however you want to pronounce it. It's named after some giant tree that some we're going to find here on these trails here in Palmas del Mar. Is it petrified? Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. So this is uh, one of the uh, remaining 15 known swamp force, terracopus force left in uh, Puerto Rico. So it's uh, been sort of been taken under the wing of the Palmas del Mar Homeowners Association. They're the ones who've created all these little uh, these boardwalks and uh, basically restored them after uh, after a couple hurricanes. So um, off we go into the swamp forest here in uh, Palmas del Mar. And here's a little uh, gazebo and observation tower. I'm going up. Too. And, and Lisa's going up. I think I'm going to go up too. See what we can see up there. Well, here's the top of the observation deck. Not much you can see. Most thing you can see is I'm uh, ripping up some more land to uh, put in some more condos and apartments here. A little bit of stuff on the distant hill. This is using a telescope to uh, look uh, directly into the tree. It's about uh, 10 feet in front of her. I'm see if you can see anything. Hey, maybe I'll see some leaves, maybe some bugs on those uh, leaves there. It's really weird. <laughs> it's extraordinarily weird. Well, now we've gotten into the swamp forest itself, and it's got all these little interesting trees. And uh, this is the Pterocarpus tree. And uh, these guys, these guys live in soil that's not really good for much else. And uh, they have uh, roots that only go a few centimeters down into the soil, but, uh, but they go in, in many directions and for a good distance to, uh, uh, to get nu enough nutrients to, uh, to grow. They can get up to 130 feet high. 130? Uh, I thought they said over there it was 80 feet. Yeah, but here it says 130. 130, so we have a little discrepancy there. So we're, we're here on a dry day. You can see that the uh, water line here is going up to the two foot mark, but uh, we've got no water in the, the swamp forest here today. But one of the interesting things about uh, this little walk is that they have all these little interpretive signs and uh, they, have, they have a little app. So as you're going through the, uh, the forest, you take a look at the number, bring it up on the app and they'll either uh, tell you to it uh, audio uh, or I uh, can read it. Yeah, like, so here's, it like here it is. Here's app number 15 in there. This particular one doesn't have audio, okay. but it does give the teacher some prompts about what to talk about. So that's pretty nice. Looks like we're just about at the end here. Supposedly it's about uh, three quarters of a mile through here, all flat. Not too strenuous, no mosquitoes, they would say uh, proudly proclaim, and uh, because of the overhead cover, it's, it's actually cool here. Well, I'm very grateful that there's something like that here, down at Palmas del Mar, where there's so much development. Lovely to find a slice of nature so beautifully preserved. I know they bring school groups here, and I loved all the interpretive stuff, teaching us what these trees were and what these animals and these birds and how it all grows. I'd love to come back and see it when it's the wet season, the rainy season, because right now it's really dry. Good overall? Overall, not bad. It's you know. worth visiting, yeah. even an hour. An hour, yeah. And that's about it, though I will run on it many times, I think, in the next 10 days. So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. Adios.